Hello there guys, what is up? Loot Games and today we are playing Terraria Xbox One Edition and this is part 45 where hopefully we're gonna get a Paladin's Hammer. Now I built this small thing, not really put a lot of effort into it or time. I could make it a lot better with some traps and stuff but you know I just got the standard. The thing is it's really causing me some issues at the minute. While it's working well, sort of it's not working in the way I wanted it to work basically. Uh, there's too many mages and stuff coming in. I mean, this is working well. I'm not, I'm not complaining about it. It's just, it could work better. Uh, let's just put it that way. I've just put really simple things in. One layer of lava so things don't burn. But all it is, is it's just linked to literally two press plates where all these are spawning. And then they're going to come up to the top. But what I want is paladins to spawn. But it doesn't look like they're spawning. And I have got a lot of room for paladins. And places for them to spawn, so they can drop down pretty easily. But I've just got to make sure that they, they come in. It's just really highly unlikely that one's just going to come in, though. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit, just so you can see a bit better. But yeah, it's working well. Like I say, uh, if you just look down here, all of the enemies spawn is to the right and the left of that. So um, all of them are going to be coming up, and they can't get back down because I've just put pressure plates there. So the pressure plates will get there. And you might be worried that the item is going to burn in lava. But as it's only one bit of lava, it's okay. And it really, the only things that are really causing me any issues are long-range enemies. Such as Diablists and other long-range force of enemies like Necromancers, etc. But um, I guess I could sort those out by eliminating all the things in the area where they could spawn. I.e. there. Which is a really stupid place for them to spawn. And uh, I th think snipers will give me a bit of a hard time as well. See, Diablists are really, really strong and you just can't have anything around. I guess that's what's uh, setting me back. But we call it Necromancer spawn because I do still need the staff. See, I, I need, still need that staff. See, there's a block that they can spawn on. So I'll get rid of that block. Then if we get rid of these... Oh, Dungeon Slime. I haven't saw them for a while. That's the first one I've saw in quite a while. So we're just, I'm just trying to get rid of all the places where they can really teleport onto. If that makes sense. So if I can attach here quickly. Oh, okay. There we go. So, yeah, let, let's just get rid of this. We could, I guess we could. Uh, that's probably the worst thing I could have done. I'm so lucky there. I guess what I could do is sit in here and have it on the top, but then I need... Oh, a bone feather. But then, um, yeah, I need to get those blocks again. Indeed, I've not actually thought of doing this. So I could sit underneath, right? And say I was, like, maybe one block. So if I go up one more, say if I was, like, there, things shouldn't spawn on me if I'm right. I, I don't know. I'm going to test it anyway. See how it works out. So, I'm going to remove that layer. Well, that's still one. That's good. The blazing wheel's getting me, though. And things should start spawning up and down. Yeah, that, that, that works a lot better. Like, like I say, it's a lot better than I expected it to work, literally. Um, right, remove those so water things can't spawn. And I think that's... Probably about the best I'm going to get. The blazing wheels are really annoying, but apart from that, I mean, I think that's the best I'm probably going to get for an auto farm type thing. Like I said, I could have traps, but eh, it's not really something. I've got, I've got this. It should be okay, but paladins, I don't know. They don't want to spawn for some reason. I'm not sure why they don't want to spawn or if they're going to spawn at all. But I'm happy to get a bone feather. I mean, I've got tons of them over time, though. <laughs> it's not really a... A major thing that I want. But wow, there's, there's bone leaves. Lots of skeleton snipers spawning in. But you guys should try this out for yourself. Literally, just dig a massive hole like this. And then enemies will keep spawning in and out. So, but about paladins? I'm not really sure. Paladins just don't want to spawn for some reason. But yeah, they, they do. Oh, that's tactical shotgun, isn't it? Let's, let's get that. Oh, we can't get it. I think it's because we've got full inventory. So if we empty our inventory, it should pick up. Yeah, there we go. We've got the bone feather and the tactical shotgun. So, yeah, pretty cool. And this is really simple, effective, 
an efficient trap, to be honest. Before, it was okay. And I was just wondering whereabouts I could make it better. And I guess doing this has made it a ton better. See, that... Where is this... Di Diablis should not be able to shoot from there, literally. I might put her lava down here as well. Just, that's just so annoying. There you go. We'll, we'll get rid of that pink brick. Oh. So we've got to get ourselves back up here now. But yeah, no paladins seem to... But I do want more sp paladins to spawn. It's just I don't think they want to spawn. Hmm. How can I make this better? Just thinking, because paladins do drop down. It's got, like, ways they can come in. So, it might just be the spawn rate, to be fair. Could put battle potions on, but... I'm not too fussed about that. Just look at all the enemies. There's so many. It's insane. Like, wow. I am actually quite surprised how well this is working. Like I say, try this yourself, guys. Might be worth a little go if you've uh, tried to get some loot. Might try and uh, up myself a little bit there. And get rid of this pink brick. Because we can actually be two more steps higher. i got to watch my health here. The thing is, I don't want to have too much uh, too much here because ragged casters and things can get on here. That's what I'm trying to make it as short as possible. See what I mean about ragged casters getting on here? Oh, I'm going to die. We need a health potion right now. Yeah, there we go. We died. It doesn't matter too much. I mean, I'm just testing it out. Um, I wanted to come back home anyway to get some traps and just try that out. Because, mm, actually, no. Tra traps aren't going to work. I need to sign my inventory anyway. Trash that. We'll go put all of the equitables in the equitables slots because we don't need them. Got a lot of ectoplasm. You get a lot of ectoplasm when you go into the dungeon. I've not even been there for long. Like, even before the video, I was only in there for, like, what, 10 minutes? I've got a ton of ectoplasm. Pretty much becomes worthless after a while, I guess. And... Workers, they're not weapons, but I'm going to store them in the weapon slot for now, like I have my other one. That's an equipable, so I don't know why I'm putting that there. But I really need to sort this world out a little bit more. I did say I was going to do it, but never really got around to it. Right, materials. We've got some more materials. Souls. I think my souls are still up here, because they're normally things that I give away to people, so... Yeah, we've got my souls there. Nice collection of souls. And then... Dark Shard. Armor Rifle Scope, which is an equitable. This which is an equitable too. And this. <laughs> I'm going to put the Wisp in a bottle there. It's just, just temporarily. And is this pets as well? Potions, uh, equitables, weapons, armor and vanity. Where did I put pets then? I don't know. I'm going to keep pets with, I guess, equitables. Because they're technically equitables because you don't equip them. But, yeah. And I could get those battle potions now as well because I'm here. I'll take four with me. Yeah, four. Half of our battle potions. You don't need to use them all. See, I don't really need all these weapons either. It's just I'm taking a few too many with me. But, eh, it doesn't matter that much. I'm, I'm sure there'll be something. Um, now I need my potions at the top. Is that a lava? Put the lava away as well, actually. Because the lava I'm not going to use, so I can put that away as well. And... Shall we take traps? Nah, there's no point. Traps aren't really going to help that farm. I think it will probably affect it in a bad way, to be honest. I mean, the lava does reasonable damage as it is, so... Yeah, we, we, we'll... We'll do all right. Uh, we could spawn our pygmy as well. That's going to uh, do a bit of damage. I hate how when you go in and out worlds, the pygmy despawns, which I've never really understood, to be honest. Never have understood that. We haven't actually got a pet with us either. Just to put all those away. <laughs> don't really need a pet. They, 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 like, like I say, pets don't really do anything either. I'm not sure if the bat and all that still do damage. Because I remember the... They minions did used to do damage. I mean the pets, because there weren't minions. Then they introduced minions, 
and the minions did damage, but the pets didn't. So I think it's only the original pets that really do it. So the guinea pig never did damage, but I believe the wolf did. But it's only like one or two damage. Two, obviously, a higher hit. And the bat, I think, did. The original bat, anyway. If there is another one. I don't think there is. There was the guinea pig, um, which is the cabbage. I can't, I can't remember anything else, but you know what I mean anyway, guys. I'm pretty sure you do. There are the original five pets. That's, that's all there used to be, like five or six pets. The brain as well, which was the zombie, of course. Uh, that, that used to do damage. One or two, I'm sure it did. But I'm not sure if they changed it. So they don't do damage now? No idea. But I still remember pets doing one to two damage. And I mean, it don't really help. It don't really contribute. Well, it, it, do, it don't really help, but it does contribute. That's what I meant to say. Because it's doing one or two damage. And that's like constant hits. So, I mean, a second you get one or two damage. Say you're fighting a boss in a minute. You're going to get 60 times that. So, it is, it's a lot of damage. If it's, they did two a hit, you probably get about, what, 120? 120 a minute, something like that. It did two damage each hit, so it's pretty good. I mean, not not a lot of damage, like I say. It still contributes though in the in a longer run. And obviously against easier enemies, it wouldn't really be that effective. It might be a little bit, but the one or two damage, like I say, wouldn't really affect it much. So we're gonna go down here now. I'm not gonna use my bow potion until I'm actually down here. But it all should be set up. Yeah, it is. <laughs> So now I'm going to use my battle potion and just hope for the best. That's all I can do, really. Just hope for the best. And I do need to modify this a little bit more. Like I said, I was going to go there. So what I'll do is bring those up. And then I will have just, just a little, little thing here that I'm going to sit on, pretty much. It's not going to be anything amazingly big. It's just because I don't want anything spawning in it, that's all. Like this dark caster. <laughs> just throw him off the edge. <laughs> wow. We really showed him. Go on, throw you off the edge again. See, that's actually doing pretty well now. I'm just going to get rid of these. And like I said, I just want a small area. And each time I go in here, I might have to uh, modify this, but... It's just, I don't want... Oh, no. They are what annoy me. I don't, how can it get me from all the way up there? It shouldn't be able to. It just shouldn't. They're really annoying, they are. Yeah, if, hopefully they don't spawn. Because how is it... Like, it shouldn't be able... Literally, I don't know how it can shoot from that far. I don't know if that's a glitch or if that's genuinely how far they can shoot. Because... That's just ridiculous. They shouldn't be able to shoot that far. Especially because, one, you can't see them. Oh, I just got a black belt. Get loads of black belts today. It's just again and again. And yeah, I did die, didn't I? So I need to get rid of that because they do annoy me when I see grave markers everywhere. Just so annoying. Let's go up here now. I still don't understand how it's shooting from all the way down there, all the way up to here. Oh my god, are you being serious? Another wisp in a bottle. The the amount of time I spent trying to get a wisp in a bottle, and I'm getting like no one's business now. Like, literally. Where are enemies spawning? They just seem to spawn down there. See, I don't, I don't know what the best way is to try and get them. It just, I don't know. Paladins, that is. Not enemies in general, but... Just paladins. I don't know how to get them to spawn well. Just hoping some spawn. Just, <laughs> like I say, it's a pretty good uh, way to get them. Another one of these. I that, that don't understand the diet, how they can shoot that far. That's just ridiculous. A uh, ridiculous length to be able to shoot. What I could do, though, is, is put the uh, rain things down here. Because they only seem to spawn on one side. So, hopefully it rains on them. Yeah, it should do. And they should get here, and then they should teleport around. So, yeah, that, that's a good idea, actually. Pretty happy of myself to think of that. <laughs> Not really a smart idea, but... Meh. Good idea. 
So I think it's actually my minion that's killing things down there. That's why there was something down there. And that's another bone lee. Didn't drop anything this time, though. Wow, I've got a stack of 99 gold keys. Seriously, that's just what I've been collecting. Trash all that. They don't look like there's any paladins whatsoever. You can't really half a job these, can you? You, you need to... You just really need to get lucky on the spawn. I know they need an, a large area to spawn and stuff, but... Should be spawning a bit more regular than this. Like I say, it might be because I half jobbed it. Like, I'm doing it with a half-built trap. I don't know. It could be. But I'd assume that spawn is such a widespread area like this. Even if they spawn up there, they should still be able to spawn. Just don't get why they can't. Yeah, that, that seems like a good idea. Come on. We've got to get these, some of these paladins. I've never seen them spawn either. That's the thing. Got a key brand. I've got tons of those things. Key brands are just too common. Nothing else? Nope. Alright, we'll collect the coins because I know after a while, some of the loot just don't just stop spawning. Don't know why, it just does. Don't know the cause of it, like say, but just stop spawning. So we still haven't got a single paladin. Not a single one. This doesn't look good, does it, guys? Been like at least, what, five minutes now we've been in here? Maybe I'm just underestimating it. Maybe it does take a long while. I don't, really don't know. Come on. It's, there's got to be a paladin spawn. A single paladin. Like, there's a lot of enemies and all, but... There's no paladins. And they could drop down there... There and there. And I saw paladins actually spawn in there, so I don't know why they're not now. Come on. But yeah, guys, um this series is going well actually. I love I love doing my Xbox One series, but I don't know how long I can make it like last because there's people that do it for a long time, but they only do like 10 to 15 minute videos. If I did 10 to 15 minute videos, I've done like 44 videos and so, some of them are like 50 minutes long, so that's like 3 or 4 videos worth, depending on how long people do them for, and it's hard to keep up sometimes, like with what to do and stuff. I've got specific things I do want to do, and I've got, like I said, I've got some building series coming up, like I've been talking about, but the amount that I can do out of such, such little ideas, I just can't think of anything new or creative. But I'm trying to. I am working on it. Definitely. So you, you'll definitely expect to see a lot more new content on Terraria. i just got to think of some new ideas, to be honest. Like, everything's been done nowadays. If I ever do something, I'm copying someone. Or or if, if I do something, someone else did it this way. Or I can't do it this way because somebody else does it this way. Or so, some, something down the lines of that. It just gets a bit tedious because people... Literally just compare to others rather than just enjoying the content, I guess. It'd be awesome to get some suggestions. Like I say, I know a lot of people have suggested fighting bosses with certain weapons. Uh, without armor. Fighting bosses with easy mode items and things like that. So, I might give that a try. You know, mix things up a bit. It's really hard to know what to do on here, because I could sit on Terraria all day and play it. But whether or not you'd enjoy me sitting there and playing it all day is another question, because I could do so much on Terraria. Like, I spend, sometimes I spend hours just literally not doing anything on it. I'm just <laughs> going around killing things and things like that. So I could spend pointless hours playing it, but it's like, when I do it on video, I like to do something that I haven't done or something that's key. Like getting the Paladin's Hammer. That's a key 
thing in the game. And my, I didn't even realise my battle potion ran out then. But yeah, oh no, I just used two. Oh, damn it. Oh well, it doesn't really matter that much. Like I say, it's just not too bad. Oh, I'm using... <laughs> I just realised... Oh, there's a paladin. But it just got spawned down there. So paladins do spawn. It's just... Where is he now, then? Is that him? Ah, oh, he spawned on the other side. I wondered where he was. So is he going to be able to throw his hammers through here? Or because he isn't Sora's, he's not going to know to throw the hammers through. So I've got a wisp in a bottle. And that's it. I didn't get anything off him. Our first one, another magnet sphere. How how rare are these things? Like honestly, I've got so many magnet spheres. I literally, the amount I get is crazy. So one paladin spawned. So we know that it will keep coming, but whether or not more spawn is another question. I hate Diablists. I really do. They're like my arch nemesis on this game. And that's not even a joke. They're always there. They always annoy me in this place. Diablists. They need to go and learn to stop annoying me. <laughs> they just fight a thing. It's just such a, such a crazy attack because it does... It affects a large area. So that's why it's a crazy attack. Come on, you gotta. There's gotta be more. I mean, maybe more alleyways if I build those. I don't know. I really don't. Because I thought the drop down from there and there. To be honest, I thought I'd get more than just one paladin in the time that I've been in here. Oh, there's a bone Lee. They're really common. Really, really common. Was that javelin? Somebody just threw a javelin up. Oh, it was my, it was my pet. I was like, what's that javelin coming up for? Is that an enemy? But no, it was, it was my pet. So I wondered what it was doing. It's just down here, killing all the enemies. That's awesome. And we got an armored tabby. Nice. Got a black belt, which dodges attacks. And the tabby, which gives you the ability to dash, which is what I'm using. But I've got it in with the master ninja gear, which allows me to dodge attacks and to dash like this. Because a lot of people ask how I dash like that. And that's pretty much it. Really easy to do. I don't know. Um, if you've got any suggestions on how to make this better. This farm. Then please do comment it. Because I'm having trouble. You could say traps. But traps I don't think are really going to have a big effect on it. Because at the end of the day I'm going to die. But no. At the end of the day uh, traps only do so much damage. And... They're pretty much all the enemies are dying anyway, so... Yeah, I don't know if it'd help if I built much larger areas, or... More ways to go across and down and up. Or... Anything like that. So if you've got any suggestions like that, it'd be awesome to know, because... I really... Another key brand. They're so common. Like, I thought key brands used to be quite rare. But now I've literally got a whole different opinion on them. After farming for about 4,000 years in the dungeon. I've got so many of them. Key brands. Zellius key brand and a violent adhesive bandage. Hmm. Nice. So really, I need some spectre armor. And I need to get some magic weapons. Diablist. They're the worst things in the world. Well, not in the world, but the worst things just... On this game, really, oh, another adhesive bandage. Wow. This one is jagged, though. We've got a jagged, jagged, what does jagged do? Is that for a attack or? Yeah, damage. I thought so. It just makes sense to have been for attack. But, you know, this game, you never know. So unpredictable. It could have just been for anything. So it doesn't look like any more paladins want to spawn. But I will, if I don't get it now... I will have a little, like, I, mean, I don't know. I might have, like, a speed thing where I just speed through it and just show you the sped up clips. So, like, a time lapse type thing. But I don't know whether to make this bigger. I don't know if it's going to help at all. Because Paladin should be spawning. That's the thing we do know. Paladins definitely should be spawning, but they're not. That's, that's the only question that 
well, the only problem we're having. <laughs> Paladins should be spawning, but they're not. Got so much loot as well, like, and only one Paladin has spawned in the whole time we've been here. One Paladin. Just insane. So I'm going to try my precise cursor, get rid of these two pieces of pink block there. So it might actually be better to sit down here. I don't know. Might be better to sit down here. Is that the clothier doll? Wow. <laughs> but if I sit down here, then things are going to be spawning up there. They're not going to spawn down here, are they? So I'm going to need to be up here. Unless I move up. Hmm. It's going to be a hard one, to be honest. Really is a hard thing to decide. So many. Look at them all. Another golden key. I've got like 99 plus 9 golden keys. And it looks like no paladins want to spawn. At all. Hey, look at that blazing wheel. Come on, there's just got to be some more paladins. Maybe we could do the paladin dance. <laughs> That'd help, wouldn't it? Hmm. Literally, no idea. But yeah, I've got so much more coming up, guys. I'm going to have some playthroughs of games and things like that. But I don't know what games to play. Like, I was going to do the Halo 5 campaign. And I thought, well, there's a million and one videos out there. Should I do the Halo 5 campaign? Would have been cool to do while it was new and all. And um, it's a game that I enjoy. It's just, I don't know whether to do it as a playthrough. Because, like I say, oh, Swat Hammer. Like I say, it's a good game and all. I don't know. If you want to see Halo 5, though, it'd be awesome if you comment below. But, like I say, there's a million and one videos out there. And most of them are better than mine. So, well, almost all of them are probably better than mine. <laughs> because my videos are bad. But, you know, I just enjoy playing. Like, I guess I could do videos on any games that I enjoy. I always, I always recommend that to anyone. Just, if you're going to do recordings on YouTube, always do things that you're going to enjoy. Because... If you start with a game that you don't enjoy, then people are asking for it, then you're not going to enjoy it while you're playing it. Like I am right now with Terraria. I love it. So having a game that you love and you play and you record, then it means that you'll show it in your content. And pretty much it. Because if you're sitting on a game for hours on end and you don't enjoy playing it, and then you, you don't want to... You're going to half do everything. And you're not, you're not going to get very far with it. You're just going to... Make excuses about it, etc, etc. But, you're on YouTube, there should be no excuses for not uploading. Literally, if you've got a school, find time around things to do it. Because, I see too many people say, Oh, um, I'm really busy with school, I can't do YouTube. And fair enough, like, you've probably got a lot of work, I understand. But, it's no different to me doing full-time work at work, let's say, hours a day. Along with me doing two hours giveaways a day. Four hours on a Sunday, and then editing and recording too. I mean, I can do it, so there should be no excuses really. When it comes to YouTube, and you want to upload, just do anything you like, and just upload. It's just, if, if you want to start uploading, and you lose your passion to upload, then fair enough, just don't do it. But if you start uploading, and you love it, then try and find time. You've got to, you've got to make the time, instead of, instead of doing... That one Call of Duty match that you was going to do. Or instead of bashing out a game for 10 hours straight. You could be doing a video in that time. Literally. It takes what? Half an hour of your time to record a video. To an hour at the most. Depending on what you want to do. Or maybe maybe longer if you're trying to get good clips or something. But say you did that. Then what? Half an hour, an hour editing? Maybe an hour rendering? Etc. I don't, don't know. However you go about it, because some people don't render their videos, some people just upload the file straight up, whereas others will render it. There's no paladins. I get really annoyed that no more paladins are spawning. I really want to know how I can make this better. Is that a paladin up there that's going to drop down? I hope it is. But yeah, um, just, yeah, like, like I was saying, too many people do that. Oh yeah, also, Mr. The Epic Ninja has reached 50k subs, so if you're not subscribed to Mr. The Epic Ninja, Go over and subscribe. Wow, another SWAT helmet. Go over and subscribe to him. 
and yeah, just um, he, he makes awesome videos. Literally, I've watched his videos for a long time, and it's just so awesome to be able to interact with him and talk to him and things like that. Anyway, he literally, he, he's a really nice guy. If you ask him a question and genuinely don't know something about something, he's not the type of person to like make fun. He's not the type of person to not answer. If if you generally got a general question about something, he'll I'm sure he'll answer it because it's nice and friendly. And like I say, he's, he's an awesome Terraria player as well. And then you've got Happy Days. A lot of people ask where I get my farm ideas. And most of it is from Happy Days. I didn't mean to do that either. <laughs> I've just accidentally done that. And literally all of my life. Yeah, Happy Days. Uh, I get all my ideas from him for traps normally. So big shout out to him as well. Oh, no. I've left my lava at home, right? Well, I was getting bored of that anyway. Just uh, farming. Wow. A gothic workbench. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I was getting bored of just sitting there doing farming. I'm sure you guys didn't really enjoy watching that either. But I'm still going to be up here. Still going to be trying to get these paladins to spawn. Because I don't know why they're not spawning. There should be a reason why they're not spawning. And there's literally no reason why they're not spawning whatsoever. Honestly, there, there should be so many. There's just not. I think I've zoomed out, actually. Sorry about that, guys, if, if it does put you off when it's a small screen. No, literally, I don't know. There should definitely be more paladins. And why there isn't more paladins is another question, but... I really want to get the paladin's hammer. It's one thing that I've, I've just wanted to get for a long, long time. Whether or not I get it in this episode is another story, but look at all that loot. Two SWAT helmets, two adhesive bandages. We got a black belt, an armored tabby. One second. There we go. We've got a wisp in a bottle, clothier doll, magnet sphere, etc, etc. Just so many good things. But yeah, guys, if you have to like this video, leave it a thumbs up rating. I am actually going to do a time lapse now. So we're going to see if we can get any more to spawn. Any more, uh... Wait a second. There we go. Uh, any more paladins, that is. I'm going to hope for them to spawn. And I'll do a quick time lapse. If I don't get it, then I don't get it. You'll probably see it in the next episode. I might try a different farm. I might try a different way of farming. Whether that's traps or whether that's a totally different way. I don't know. But yeah. Anyway, guys... Just gonna do this. Loads of, loads of these are spawning, just no paladins. It sucks. Yeah, anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. Please leave a like, subscribe, stay frosty, and peace. Right, here we go.
So I said, no, 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 it was supposed to be my pentacle. What did you do to me? I killed I no one to free for champions. I First blood, double kill. Monster kill! Godlike! Holy! Rampage! So I said, no, 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 it was supposed to be my pentacle, what did you do to me? I killed I no one to free for champions, I can't believe you're falling. No, it was supposed to be my pentacle, what did you do to me? I killed I no one to free for champions, I can't believe you're falling. I'm not